Well, thank you very much for uh, uh, your kind introduction, Professor Eugene. Well, thanks a lot. And uh, well, uh, welcome today. And uh, it's so nice to see you all. And uh, well, good evening. How are you doing? And uh, I know you are already hungry and also tired, but you have to go through this, my lecture. No, that's too bad. And uh, the worst part is uh, I'm planning to talk about for about uh, two hours. Uh, it's a kind of disaster. No, I'm just kidding, and uh, I'd like to make it very short. And uh, as you can see, I'm a kind of stereotype of Japanese who is too shy to in front of people. So I'm not going to talk a lot. Oh, by the way, I need your cooperation. How many of you already know about SMI? Please raise your hand. Okay, about half. Mm. Okay, and how many of you are already using SMI actually? All right, okay, thanks a lot. That helps me a lot. And uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, if we really need SMI or not. Maybe the answer is obvious, yes. And uh, today's topic is uh, mainly about the brand new SMI, which is called SMI Angio Mode. And uh, I'm going to introduce the new SMI to you a little bit. And after that, I'm going to show you uh, the clinical images of using SMI for neoplastic diseases and after that, inflammatory disorders. So you can just sit back and relax and watch uh, watching these images of SMI and if you are really you know, interested and if you think that images are beautiful, you can just say, wow, you know, that's it. So, the conventional SMI has been the best method so far. Uh, this shows the placenta and blood vessels by the color Doppler, which is not so bad. You can see some of the vessels, but uh, using conventional SMI, you can see a uh, lot more vessels in detail. So, hmm, this is, I think this is good enough, I thought. And uh, the reason of the superiority of SMI is uh, uh, lies in the filter. As you know, the conventional Carl Doppler takes only the velocity of moving things into account. So the high pass single dimension filter eliminates uh, the blood flow and signals with low velocity. So as a result, we can only see the vessels with high velocity. But uh, SMI employs a multi-dimensional filter which takes many factors into account, you know, other than uh, velocity. Blood flow has many characteristics, so it only delimitates clutter like this, so we can appreciate uh, the blood flow signals with low velocity as well as high velocity. So far, you might know that already, and uh, advantages of SMI over color Doppler. Color Doppler is like, uh, you know, delineating branches of a tree while SMI delineates leaves of a tree with high frame rate and high sensitivity, high resolution with less motion artifact. So, now comes the main topic today. Here comes the brand new SMI, which is called SMI Angio Mode. By the way, I call it Hi-Fi SMI, and you'll see the reason why I call it Hi-Fi. Uh, by using this, this is a conventional SMI. This is a picture of SMI Angio Mode, so you can directly tell that the separation of blood flows is remarkably improved. And you can customize the performance of uh, SMI Angio mode if you want to see the quick response of the blood flow. You can use that, that you can customize like that and you can see, you want to see the continuity of the blood flow 
You can also customize the performance by uh, changing uh, the mode. And this is the blood vessel structure using a new, brand new SMI of the spleen. And this shows the jejunum blood flow. You can see the each blood vessel in the fold. I don't hear any walls any yet. <laughs> okay. So, since I said uh, SMI is a method to uh, delineate leaves of a tree, Hi-Fi SMI, which is SMI angel mode, delineates each leaf clearly. So from now I'm gonna show you some images using Hi-Fi SMI. Uh, first, well, I have to start with uh, neoplastic diseases. And this is squamous cell carcinoma by using uh, conventional color doppler. You can see, oh, you know, this might be a hypervascular tumor, but uh, well, the image is not so good. By using conventional SMI, you can see bunches of blood vessels, but uh, you cannot really see each vessel, each vessel clearly. By using Hi-Fi SMI, you can see each vessel clearly. And FFT analysis showed these signals are not the artifact, but the true blood flow. This is a case of HCC with different degrees of differentiation and vascularity. This part is uh, rich in fat and well differentiated and with less vascularity. And this part is uh, part of the differentiated area which has a uh, rich vascularity. By using SMR angel mode, you can see there's uh, less vascular structure in the well differentiated area with uh, more fat. It's a case of splenic hematoma. You can, on grayscale, you can't be really sure if there's a tumor or not. The border of the tumor is somewhat blurred, so indistinct, in, in, indistinct tumor. But by using Hi-Fi SMI, it shows a rich vascular structure, which is maybe centripetal. And uh, you, can, you can be sure this is a tumor. Yep. And this is a case of ascending colon cancer. You can also use this Hi-Fi SMI with the super wide view. By using conventional SMI, you can see you know, some of the blood vessels, which is not bad if you compare the, with the color signals obtained by color Doppler, but by using SMI angio mode, you can delineate more and more vessels really clearly. And this is a case of DCIS, breast cancer, by conventional SMI, all good enough, you know, you can see some of the tumor vessels. By using SMI angio mode, well, you can see the continuity of each vessels and you can also tell the sensitivity has been improved a lot. This, this shows a lymph node metastatic, metastatic lymph node swelling from prostate cancer. The conventional SMI shows small uh, vascular structure like this and the hilus of the lymph node is destructed and vascular structure shows that this could be a malignant lymph node metastasis. And SMI angio mode shows more and more vessels in detail and after a contrast ultrasound, you can also you know, switch it into a contrast SMI angio mode, uh, which shows more vessels clearly. And this is a, this is a case of uh, what do you think? Uh, this three-month-year-old girl 
is complaining of, well, actually, she's not complaining, but uh, her patient felt the subcutaneous mass right here. You cannot really tell uh, around here, you know, in her cuff. And on grayscale, you can find uh, mass whose diameter is only seven millimeter. And by using conventional SMI, you can see the bundles of blood vessels. And by using SMI angio mode, you can see final vessels, more and more final vessels inside this mass. This is a vascular malformation. So let's move on to uh, the high fire SMI for inflammatory disorders. Uh, this is a subcutaneous abscess with unknown cause. She felt pain in her uh, wrist. On grayscale, you can see a hypoechoic area in, here, in her subcutaneous area. And the SMI angio mode showed a rich vascular structure, which, uh, vascular structure which is caused by inflammation, hyperemic state. And also you can see a vascular, a vascular area which represents abscess. Uh, this is the ileal lesions of Crohn's disease by conventional SMI. You can, well, you can see the intramural blood flow like this and high fi SMI shows more and more vessels. And this is the longitudinal view of the lesion. You can see that this, this portion of, uh, of the patient's uh, bowel tract has severe inflammation. And this is the case of perforated appendicitis. 66-year-old male complaining of right lower abdominal pain. Uh, you can see the swelling of the appendix and an abscess adjacent to the appendix. But you cannot really be sure what part of the appendix is perforated. But by using SMI angio mode, there's a hyperemia throughout the appendix except here. You can see the avascular, avascular area here, which is the site of the perforation. And, of course, here, this wide, not really wide, it's uh, about two centimeters in diameter, uh, represents abscess. And this, I think this is the last case. Uh, this is very interesting, a 61-year-old male, which is older than the frequent age of this disease, who is a smoker, is complaining of finger pain. And conventional SMI showed the narrowing of his artery. And SMI angio mode shows more accurate diameter with the blooming and also the thickening of the arterial wall. Is that just brought by the arterial sclerosis? But when you take a look at the arterial wall, there's a lot of uh, hyperemic, you can see the hyperemic state. You can see a lot of minute vessels throughout the arterial wall, which strongly suggests this patient has Burgess disease. I think this is the first in vivo image to, to show that uh, transmural arterial hyperemia you know, clearly and real, in real-time fashion in Burgess disease. So, compared, uh, you know, a Hi-Fi SMI to a telescope, color Doppler is like this. And conventional SMI showed clearer image 
of uh, the galaxy and new SMI, SM Anjamon showed each part separately and clearly. So in, in conclusion, I'm sure you would say yes, we should need SMI. And still, Aplio I, the eye of Aplio I is still evolving and will always enable you to see the unseen in the future. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you.